welcome back to my channel. Today I have the second part of my university haul, which as I mentioned in my last video, will be all my kitchen things. I have quite a lot of things that I got from my grandma because she recently moved, well, so recently, it's quite a while ago now, she, this year she moved into a smaller place, which saved me having to buy a heck of a lot for the kitchen. In fact, I've not bought a great deal percentage wise and other things I got like with my other haul I got for Christmas so anything I don't know the price of or where it's from now I'll leave a link to in the description if I can find it. So the first thing I have to show you are these mugs which were from Next but I got them for Christmas so I don't know how much they were and there are some plates matching which I'm about to show you and one of them is still on the website last time I checked the other one isn't so whichever one is I'll leave in the description if not, there are similar ones, and they're just four mugs in a little stand, so they're useful for keeping clothes. They are adorable, so I can't wait to use them. They just have Love Always, Sparkle More, Shine Bright, and Dew Forever On, all in gold, silver, and copper sort of colours, which are stunning, quite simply. So, any friends that come round can drink from those mugs. I don't even drink hot drinks, really, but I'm going to be drinking out of them as much as possible. Whilst we're still on mugs, might as well get these out of the way. Paper Chase S Mug. This will be particularly useful if no one else has the name beginning with S in my flat because then I can easily tell that this isn't mine. This one got for my birthday as well. That was for my birthday by the way. This one for my birthday for my best friend and it's vintage 1997 long short mug. And I haven't used it yet because I wanted to save it for university although now I have a lot of mugs. And I'm pretty sure I don't need them all. Still on the topic of mugs another one but this one is one I got from my grandma she bought it for me for Easter along with this bowl so they match so that'll be great for breakfast and I can get it on a tray which is I'll show you in a minute that matches these here are the plates that go with the mugs I've just shown you so these ones have Bon Appetit, Good Friends, Just a Nibble and Good Food written on them they're quite small so they're more like sandwiches or snacky sort of meals rather than a big meal um, but I have big plates I'm going to be using most of the time because they're 50p and if they rain it doesn't matter. These ones I can't wait for people to come around and use. So if any of you are watching that are my friends, get ready to use these things. As for glasses, I have four of these wine glasses which were from my grandma's. And I have six highball glasses for normal drinks and um, well anything else really. And they were just from the Debenhams home collection, the basics one. So if I can find those, I'll leave them below. Okay, before I move on to the box, I'm going to show you this. A massive bag of pasta that I got for Christmas. <laughs> Such a random present, but I love it. It's the best pasta as well. Well, I love shells and the little three colour ones. Tree colour. Um, but the shells from Tesco, there's a kilogram, or is it three kilograms? Three kilogram bag. I'm not sure how much they are, but I know they definitely have these in Tesco, so you can have a look. And they'll be useful to take to university for when I first go, so I know I've got lots in stock. And I'll probably just keep buying big bags that's going to work out cheaper in the long run. That's my plan anyway. I'm going to go to Costco before I go to get all of that sort of thing. But I love my pasta, so that'll be great. And while we're still on the topic of food, I have this recipe book, which is one of the best things I have seen, especially in terms of recipe books. It is vegetarian nosh for students. And now I asked for a vegetarian or a student recipe book for Christmas. And lo and behold, I got two in one. And this, like, originally I was like, ooh, that sounds good. Like, some of the things in here sound really good. I've not actually tried making anything yet, which I probably should do in practice. But it has so many things in that I didn't expect. So at the start, it has a way of measuring it in terms of a mug, where it's the actual size so you can pair it can compare it so things with a mug you can just use that so as they know students don't often have often don't have beautiful things and you've got like store cupboard and fridge essentials oh what do I do if I haven't had a read of this yet I'm gonna have to do that I don't have a microwave blah 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 I've made things too spicy blah 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 a way of measuring spaghetti because I don't know about you but I can't measure spaghetti perfectly to save my life. Can't do it with pasta, can't do it with rice. They're all just so difficult. Oh, it's got rice! Oh, oh my gosh. It's got the basics, and that's got things like stuff on toast and um, sauces. 
is that sauces? Ah, it's like a potato filling, sauces, eggs, omelets, smoothies. Oh, they look nice. Salad dressings. Then you've got the topic fast food, broke but hungry, one pot dishes, something mum might cook, something for the weekend, friends round, comfort food, date night, cakes and cookies, desserts, and weekly shopping planners. And first of all, opening it to a page, you can see in the top right corner, it has the price per person, the ease out of five, how difficult it is to make, the number of servings, preparation time and cooking time and I just think the fact it tells you the price per person is amazing as well like one pound, oh, just, just great and then at the end to make things even better you've got food planners so on here is a menu for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday um, is it lunch and dinner? dinner so you can look at these saying oh which menu do I want this week Let's go for menu three. You don't have to think every day about what you want to cook. You just go on here, you've got it. Not only that, it's got a check cupboards for, do that. And then you've got shopping list. How useful is that? Oh my gosh. Okay, so this one was $7.99. You can get this in WH Smith definitely, and I think you can get it in uh, Waterstones as well, and you can get it on Amazon, so you can get it anyway and sell books basically. And they don't just have vegetarian, they have a whole range, so if you're not vegetarian, look there. Here's the thing I said would go with my mug and bowl. It's a lap tray, so it's got the cushiony bit, there, the cushion bit, um, which would be great for carrying back to my room, etc. Not sure where that set was from, if I can find it, leave it below. And then for cleaning, I have these two suction dish brushes and they were £1.49 from B&M. I have these six microfiber dish cloths in a similar colour and these were £1.99 from B&M. And then I've got four tea towels, microfiber tea towels, £1.99. Oh, were they from Home Bargains? Oh, they were from Home Bargains, not B&M. These ones, the others were. But they go nicely. Straws. If you watch from Food Facts About Me, you'll know I tend to drink from straws. Most drinks, hot drink, cold drinks, anything really. So I wanted to get some of those in. They were a pound from Wilco. Two egg cups that look like this from my grandma. Great of all, two pounds from Wilco, which I think is so useful because then you can grate a load of it, keep it in the bowl, keep it in the fridge, and then every so often just use what's grated. Three pairs of scissors for a pound. I have cooling rack from my grandma sieve from my grandma. All of these things you might want to check with your university whether they have them or with your accommodation more than your university whether they have them anyway because I know a lot of the stuff I've got <laughs> I think they have there anyway but as a lot like it's not stuff I've bought apart from the other thing as I got a lot from my grandma I thought I'd just take what I think I'm going to need the first day see what room I've got see what there's already there what is already there and then send it back with my parents if I don't need it and then I'll keep it until I do in case not next year I'm staying in a house or something and I need more things then or whenever I'm just going to keep hold of them until I need them or until I know I won't ever need them I like my gravy so I've got a limited edition gravy pot that one as well I've got for Christmas I have these coasters which were from Wilco but my mum bought these and I don't have the price written down, so I'm not too sure how much they were. Again, description if I can find it. Candy jug. Anything I don't say where it's from is just from a grandma's. Oh, a measuring thing which I thought would be useful instead of trying to use scales all the time. Well, I'll probably use them as well. These, which were my grandma's, just container pots. And I've got different shapes and sizes so that I can find places to put them. Like I've got a square one, which will nicely fit in the freezer hopefully if I need to freeze them okay that's a lot to freeze in the fridge maybe if I want to cook some fruit keep it in there I don't know and then the other pots like cereal or whatever I might put in here or to take out that will be useful from my grandma again I got this can opener for £1.99 from Home Bargains this bottle opener £1.49 from Home Bargains these two sets of knives from, where were they from? Oh, Lidl. 
and they were two for three pounds but Lidl often change what they have in like their special offers sort of bit so they might not still have them but I've seen similar that they have so just put them out salt and pepper pot from Wilco two pounds a vegetable peeler don't know how much this was I got it for Christmas this set of cutlery I wanted to get pattern set so that I can see which ones are mine so I can like keep things clean because I'm <laughs> I like to have things organised and clean, but I know that some of the people I'm sharing with may not and may leave the kitchen a mess. I'm anticipating that. So at least if I know exactly what my things are, I can keep up to date with my own and just keep to myself <laughs> and use my own and put it away and then everyone else can do what they want and I'm going to try not to get stressed. Bin liners for 85p, 50 of them. Don't know if I need them, but I'm guessing they might come in handy either way. Foil was 89p from Home Bargains. You'll see a theme here. It's all the bargain shops because they have some great stuff for great prices. Freezer bags, 69p from Home Bargains. Cling film, 79p from Home Bargains. Also have this Euro chopper from my grandma to chop vegetables. A lot easier than knives. I mean, I can't imagine I'll be having onions much because I don't really like them. But if I did, this would be useful for that to hopefully stop my eyes watering. A mini frying pan. I'm not too sure what I'm going to cook in this, but I'm going to find something. Like, I would love to cook a fry egg in there. I think I'll make the perfect little thing. Maybe pancakes. Because I don't actually like fried eggs much. I'm going to find something. Or a mini omelette. Or mushrooms. Nope, that will come in very handy. Squeezy Marmite that I got for Christmas because I love my Marmite as well. Two black dishes from Ikea. They were in the sales section, so I got them for 50p each, along with. <laughs> These two plates, that big, like proper dinner plates rather than the smaller plates, 50p again from Wilco. A, what's it called? A scale. A scale, some scales that were around the house. There's a little hole in the corner which you can probably see, but it's been there for a while. We were throwing them away. I thought I'd, I'd use them because I can just put kitchen roll in there to stop stuff falling through, which is a great tip if you need to measure butter before flour if you don't know. A masher that I got from Wilco for 40p. I have a jug and then a whole host of spoons, spatulas, knives, don't know what else, which will just come in handy. This will be handy because it's a, a, like a Tupperware thing, stumbling over my words. Tupperware with a cap in the top that you can open so that you can let the steam out cook your vegetables in the microwave, or cook some in the microwave with a let the steam go, a glass bowl and a sieve, all from my grandma, chopping board, grandma, cake tins, grandma again, Ooh, two saucepans and I have the lids in there as well, just a large and a slightly smaller one, I did have a smaller one as well but I thought two would be enough, a cooking dish, Oven dish. Ugh. Ugh, dust. Lasagna dish, baking tray, pizza tray, and a giant frying pan so that I don't need to take a wok, I can use that as well. I can use that as a wok as well, or as just a giant frying pan. That is everything I've got through my university room, bathroom, and kitchen so far. I have got pretty much everything I need for my kitchen, just food and like the odd bit but I'll get that nearer the time. I have got quite a few things, and I've probably got more than I need, but like I said, anything I don't need, I'll send back with my mum and dad when I move in, or like after the first week and I think I'm never gonna need this, send it home, and then I can use it in my second year if I end up living in a flat or something like that, or whatever, but I can just keep hold of it until I need it again. I hope it's given you some ideas for things you might need that you've not thought about yet, as I know I found watching university halls really useful before, I started buying things, although if you like shopping it probably gets you really excited like it did me and makes you want to buy more things than you probably need. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Anyone going to university this year, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what you've got planned so far or what you've bought so far and how you're feeling about it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye! I have three cushions to finish my bed. This first one's from Primark and was £7. And Obviously just goes to the bedding, I like the little pom-poms on it.